It was the news I had been dreading. My master was dead and gone. He's not breathing yet. He's not breathing and we need to, we're trying to pump him, but he's not, he's not okay. Okay, I'll do it. He's not. Uh, My name is Bubbles. For almost 15 years, I was the companion to one of the most famous men in the world. I attended premieres, meetings with world leaders, and witnessed some of the finest music being made. I was a part of the genius that came to be Michael Jackson. After saving me from a Texan science laboratory, the public liked to believe he was wacky, and so did he, at first. Boy, did I have to work hard on the cute factor in those days. Being Michael's darling meant I was constantly envied, because everyone, man, boy, or beast, wanted my front row seat to the world of Jackson. Michael would always say, Bubbles, go to bed. And he would go in and he'd get his pajamas, he'd put his pajamas on, and after he puts his pajamas on, he'd go brush his teeth. They said I was oh so cute, but deep down, they didn't like me one bit. The trainers always had a problem with, with Bubbles because they came over one day and said, this monkey is wild, he can kill you. Michael and I were a team, we were bonded. When he felt pain, I felt pain. So much so that now at the grand old age of 25, my carers at the retirement center believe that I've turned into a bit of a hypochondriac. But if they had seen what I saw, the post-operative bruising, the countless needles, the scars beneath the wig, then they would understand. Me and Louie, we were Michael's first pets. This is my llama Louie. We had to endure the woes of Havenhurst, the family home in California. We would just have a lot of fun in this yard. Uh, there'd be uh, some llamas of Michael's running around. Mm. Hey, Louie. Okay, we'll walk around. Come on. There was never any peace. But then our lives changed. It was our fantasia and just the beginning of our fame. Before long, our numbers grew. I worried I wasn't going to be a favorite for much longer. He even fed him my bananas. Before I knew it, I was off on the world tour for bad. First stop, Japan. My newfound popularity was growing, but my master, well, he always kept me in check. I was ahead of the game when it came to praying for peace. When Michael later crooned, we are the world, he never credited me with the inspiration. And finally, all those critics who said Michael was wacko were silenced. Because now I was the headline. Now, there is a celebrity sitting in our audience. <laughs> <laughs> if only this guy Dick had known what I was really thinking. What a turkey. As I was saying, <laughs> did you bring the letter from your boss? At the top says, Dear Dick, I'm giving Bubbles the night off from his busy schedule so he can come and play on your show. There it is. And it, believe it or not, is signed Michael Jackson. At the time, it did not seem like play. Do you ever listen to anybody else's music? Do you like heavy metal music? Are you still the same sweet old chimp that you always were? You do an impression of, how about Mick Jagger? What does Mick Jagger look like? <laughs> That's Mick Jagger, there you go. It was all going real swell. My business dreams were expanding. But then it all started to go real bad. His friends were getting in the way. And it became painfully clear that I'd been pushed aside. But hey, I was still part of the family. And then I saw this. And we find out why Bubbles 
had to go. Chimps, they get to an age like, like teenage kids do, where they want to challenge their parents. And it can become dangerous in a way. You know, and if, and if they get angry with you and decide to take you on, uh, it's, no, it's no match. I mean, they're very, very strong. I lost my bodyguard, was stripped to my gold trim costumes. Even my wardrobe designer was dismissed. I lost heart, just like Michael. And then, as I watched him grow painfully thin during the trial, I found myself not eating. It was my protest too, and so I was brought here. At first, I thought it uncivilized. The dress code was native, and boy, did I miss the lights. The other chimps did incomprehensible things. They climbed trees and even threw feces. It took me about five months to discover these simple joys. In that time, I heard from the others the terrible things people had said. I may have been the most successful simian of all time, but just like my master, no one really knows the inside story. Now with his passing, it's time. Time to tell the truth of us together. The story of Michael, Neverland, and me.